You might be getting errors while reinstalling MySQL database or you want to completely remove MySQL from one computer and move your databases to another computer. If that's the case, then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradnya Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to completely uninstall or remove MySQL 8 database from macOS operating system. Let's get started. In my case, I am using macOS 11, also known as macOS Big Sur. You may be using a different version of macOS, but the steps given in this video will work on all versions of macOS 10 as well as macOS 11. I will open terminal window. Before we uninstall our MySQL database, the very first thing I would suggest is to backup your any existing databases. You may be learning SQL or working on a project of yours or your client. Once you remove MySQL, all your data would be gone. So be careful before uninstalling MySQL database. Let's log in to our root user account. Type sudo mysql dash u root dash p. Enter operating system user password. And then mysql root user password. And we are logged in to mysql root user account. Now execute SQL statement to display all your databases using show databases semicolon press enter. In previous video, we created this PN tutorials database. This database doesn't have any tables or data rows, but let's assume it isn't empty. You might have one or more databases you are working with. Let's backup all these databases. If you do not have any database, then you don't need to worry about this step. You can directly skip to the next step. Let's log out of root user account using exit command. I'll clear the screen. Now write the command to backup all your databases. Type slash usr slash local slash mysql slash bin slash mysql dump space dash u root dash p dash dash all dash databases space greater than symbol and enter full part to save backup file. I'll save the file on desktop but you can save it to any location you want. The location would be space slash users slash enter Mac username. I will enter my username which is Pradnyankur here in my case slash desktop slash name of the backup file here. I will name it as alldb.sql. If you already have added MySQL bin folder part to your macOS path environment variables, then you don't need to enter this full part to mysql bin folder. You can directly write the command from here like mysql dump to the end of the line. We will learn more about database export, import and its commands in a separate tutorial. For now, just enter the command as it is to export all databases. Press enter. Enter mysql root user password. Press enter and you will have a backup file on your desktop. Keep this file safe for import purpose. I will exit and close the terminal window. Now let's move to uninstall step. Once we backup our database, go to Mac, System Preferences, scroll down and you will see this MySQL icon. Double click to open MySQL instance window. On this window, if MySQL instance is in running state, click this stop MySQL servers button to stop the instance. Enter your operating system user password. Once the MySQL server instance is stopped, press this uninstall button. 
on the pop-up window check this option also uninstall this preference pane and launch the support files press ok button once again enter operating system user password press ok and mysql is uninstalled from your computer now if you go to mac system preferences you won't find mysql icon here close the system preferences window though we uninstall the mysql application we still have some related files like database files some configuration files etc and in order to completely remove those files open terminal window again and execute some commands one by one i have given the commands in the description section of this video i'll copy paste these commands from a text file on my computer one by one copy and paste each command in your terminal window if required enter operating system user password and finally edit host config file like sudo nano slash etc host config and if the file exist or has the following line then remove the line press control x y and enter to save the changes exit and close the terminal window and here we successfully and completely uninstalled or removed mysql database from our mac os computer we already have removed mysql database from our computer this step is optional this step is mainly for users who had backup of their databases and want to import those databases to a new mysql installation on the same computer or on a different computer with mysql installed on it if you want to learn how to install mysql 8 database on your mac os operating system check out my another video tutorial where i have covered everything step by step in detail the link is in the video description all right first of all open terminal window and log in to mysql root user account using sudo mysql dash u root dash p press enter enter operating system user password and then mysql root user password and we are logged in to mysql root user account i'll execute sql statement to display all databases show databases semicolon press enter currently we don't have any database in our new mysql installation log out of mysql database using exit command i'll clear the screen now type slash /usr/ slash local/ slash mysql/ slash bin/ slash mysql space dash u root dash p less than symbol space and full path to the backup file we created earlier in my case it's slash users slash mac operating username in my case it's pradnyankur enter your mac os username here slash desktop slash all db dot sql press enter and enter your mysql root user password press enter 
If you see no error message then import was successful. Let's confirm by logging into MySQL root user account. I will log into my MySQL root user account again. Press up key to select previously executed commands. Select MySQL login command and press enter. Enter MySQL root user account password. And we are logged in to root user account. Now again execute SQL statement to display all the databases. Show databases semicolon. Press enter. And this time we can see our database is restored successfully. Please note if you already have some databases in this MySQL installation, those databases will remain as it is and new databases will get created. I will exit out of my MySQL root user account and close the terminal window. Here in this video, we learn how to properly uninstall or remove MySQL 8 database from your macOS computer. I hope you understood the steps given in this tutorial. If you have any doubts or encounter errors or didn't understand something, you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video. If this video tutorial was helpful to you, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.